In this video, we're going to take a look at the Active Directory commandlet new AD organizational unit. And what this allows us to do is quickly add organizational units to our Active Directory infrastructure without having to come into the graphical user interface, do the right click, add organizational unit. We can add a bunch at a time. Now, this is an introductory video. So, where we're going to start is to look at the commandlet. Now, before we do that, what I want to do is jump in here and show you that under administrative tools, there is a shortcut to Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. So instead of having to come into my PowerShell each time and, and type in import dash module Active Directory, I can open it right from here. Let me show you what's going on behind this shortcut here. Kind of interesting. All it's doing is opening up PowerShell.exe. There's PowerShell doing a non-exit command, and then running the command import module active directory. So when I open it up from here, I open up PowerShell with, as you can tell, the active directory module located. So before we get started, always a good idea, if you're not sure what's going on with commands, let me get through that, is to run the help on the command. Now, if you notice, I'm not running get dash help, I'm running help only new, AD organizational unit detailed and what that does is it gives me the detailed version of all of the information on that commandlet and by just running help I can page through the information so here's the syntax so consequently the different parameters it can give and the different arguments that it will accept so I can run through all of this now one thing I want to look at is the parameters so what are all these parameters well if you're not familiar with it I'll jump over here to Active Directory. Let me look at properties of an Active Directory object here. And as you can see, here's street, city, state, zip, who it's managed by. And we can automate the process of filling all of this in with our PowerShell command. So we'll come over here. We'll just continue to page through the details of the commandlet. And as soon as we get to the bottom here, so you can go ahead and look through all that. I'll clear our screen and we'll start looking at how we do this. Now, we're going to follow this structure down here. This is for a subsequent later video where we actually create a PowerShell script that will call this comma separated value and create this entire structure of OUs and nested OUs. We're going to go ahead and do the first four, though, by hand in the Active Directory console. So I've already gone ahead and put these commands in. So let me get to the start here and we'll take a look at this one right here. So I'm going to run the commandlet new AD organizational unit. I'm going to give it a name, United States, and a path. Now notice the path here matches my Active Directory infrastructure path. So my Active Directory is out at corp.miim.com. And we just need to put that in a string here, followed by quotes. And then because we're practicing, I've added right here the parameter protected from accidental deletion. And if you notice, it's a Boolean. It takes either true or false, and I'm putting it as false. That way I can come over, right click, and quickly delete that organization unit. However, if I was one, running this in a production environment, not in a test environment, I'm going to put that to true. So once I have that command, I'll come in and I'll just hit enter. And no news is good news, so as long as I don't get any syntax errors, that big red nasty stuff, we should be able to come over here to Active Directory. We'll refresh Active Directory, and there is our organizational unit, United States. So let's come back over, and let's take this one step further. We're going to go ahead and run our next organizational unit, which is California. And as you can tell from down here, we're doing United States. Now we're going to do the nested organizational unit, California. In there, we'll nest Sacramento, and then we'll nest North Sacramento. So here's my second command. Let's just take a look at this. My name now is going to be California. And if you notice, I've increased my path because I want to nest California inside the path OU equals United States. I've added that to my path, including the rest of my path details. I'll hit enter for that. Again, no news is good news. If we come over here and we expand, we can see United States and now California. I'm going to go ahead and do these next two 
just right together. So inside California, I'm going to add an organizational unit for Sacramento. If you notice again, I've increased my path. OU equals California. So I'm nesting it under California, nested under United States within my active directory, corp.miim.com. I'll go ahead and run that. And then finally, and we'll look at this in just a second. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and run the last one, which is North Sacramento. Again, changing my path, nesting North Sacramento, under Sacramento. There's my command, and I hit enter. So let's go over to Active Directory here real quick as we finish up this video. There is United States, there's California, there's Sacramento, and there is North Sacramento. So this gives you a good idea of the new AD organizational unit commandlet. And in the next video, we'll take this one step further by building a PowerShell script that automates this process and will populate all of these organizational units, both nested and non-nested, in one simple command. Until then, take care.